Hi everybody, we continue with Tikkuni uh, Zohar from the Malot Sulam. We are in verse Yudalet uh, Tedvav from Tikkuni uh, Zohar um, with the Matok Midvash from page Resh Bet in the bottom. So we're going to mix it up today a little bit. So we say Yud, the letter Yud, mitchaleket bekol makom leRosh Toksof. The letter Yud has the head. The, the body or the talk, the primiut, or and the soft, and the end. How can the letter yud, such a small letter, has three levels? Tell us, Rav Brandwein, kot shela lemala, you know, the little chupchik above the yud, this little thing above the yud, is a uh, um, uh, rosh, is the rosh, is the head. Guf shela, the body, or the talk, beemza, so the body of the yud, if you look at the yud, it looks like a small resh. So the body, the entire body, is toch, is the body. Sof shela lemata, and the bottom of the letter, it's called the sof. We know, as when a scriber is about to write Bezuza and need to write the name of God, the first thing he does is yud. But every sofer, every writer who writes Tfilin, or Mezuzot, or Sifre Torah, know that he start every letter with the letter Yud, because Yud include everything. Why? Because within Yud, you have the name that touch a garment, and include it with one letter. How can it be? Ke Arosh Usot Chabad, the head of, of everything of the Yud, is Chabad. Chabad means Chokhmah, Bina, Vada'at. Vetoch, Us, usot chagat, the, the, the body of the yud is chesed gvurat tifer. Sof, the end of the yud, is that shachod yesod. Umalchut akolelet otam. And then the malchut that include all of it. And dalet otiyot avai, it's the same letter as four letters of yud kevavke, of tachagamatan. Yud, chokma, e bina, vav, Chagat Nahi, Vav, which is Zeran Pin, is Chesed Gvorat Tiferet, Netzachot Yesod, and a Malchut, as we all know it, we heard it many times. Let's get into it a little bit more. Arosh HaElyon Shel Yud, Usot Te'amim. We know that in Kabbalah, there is not just the name of God. The name of God appears in different way in different expression. So for example, for example, the tamim, which means the music of how you need to read the scroll, it's not written on the scroll. It's called tamim. It's like how to read. There's another part that's not written on the scroll, is the nekudot, the vowels. So the music and the vowels is not there. For that reason, the person who is a cantor, who need to read the Torah, the Chazan, need to learn that by heart. Need to learn the, how to pronounce the words, that's the nekudot, the vowels, and the ta'amim, and the melody, that's the ta'amim. Then you have another two things, which is the tagin, tagin is to look like antenna above the letter, and the letter themselves, the Hebrew letter themselves, so you have four. Okay, you have the, the melody, the music, the nekudot, the, the vowels, the tagin, those antenna above the letter, and the letter themselves. Arosh HaElyon Shel Yud, so Ta'amim, the head of the Yud, corresponding to Ta'amim. Ta'amim means the melody, the music. The Guf Shel Yud, Shu Be'em Tzau Besod, Otiyot, the entire body of the letter Yud, relate to the letter. Guf Le Shne'em, Le Ta'amim Ve Le Nekudot. What is that body of the Yud used for? It becomes a vessel for the music, and a vessel for the nekudot, for the vowels. The kot shela atachton, and the bottom of the yud, u besod anekudot. U besod anekudot pirush. And now he's going to explain it. Pirush. Noda, noda shebet zmanim katnut vgedlut nu besibat aliyat malchut lebina. We know, there is a concept called Tzim Tzum Bet, where Malchut, to sweet itself, because it's all judgment, it's all receiving, went up to Binah. But when it's going up to Binah, 
it make everything change. Because now you have only Keter and Chukmah, because wherever Malchut go, become the new ending. So if Malchut went up to Binah, Binah, Binah become the end. So now you only have Keter and Chukmah as light coming down. And Binah, where Malchut is now, shooting the light back. So what happened as a result? That's what Rabbanvan is addressing. Two things get fixed. We call this tikkun of Malchut went to Bina horseshoe. Why do we call it horseshoe? Because the only level that left being activated was Keter and Chokmah. As I said before, because Malchut went up to Bina, there's a new ending. Bina Malchut so, Bina, Tiferet Malchut, you know, is now below the new ending that Malchut created between Keter Chokmah and Bina, Tiferet Malchut. When we say the Sfirot, the name of the Sfirot is the name of the Kelim, the name of the vessels. So if you have only two vessels, Keter and Chokmah, and Sham Rakbet Orot, that means there is only two types of light. Ruach v'nefesh. What is the first two light that coming into any vessel? First nefesh, then ruach. So now you only have ruach v'nefesh. V'chaser v'medrega gimel orot alionim neshama chaya yechida. But we're missing neshama chaya v'yechida. Which is the light that corresponding to Ketach Mavina. But we know it, the point of, of Chiyut Orot V'keli. Meaning the small light first going into the highest vessel. And then it keep pushed down all the way to Malchut. When the smallest light arrives to Malchut, then Keter will get Yechida. But because now Malchut end up to Bina, only two light can go in, Nefesh Veruach. Nefesh Veruach going into Keter Verochma. Lachen Shechaser Gimel Klim et Achtonim. So when the lower three vessels are missing, Chaserim Gimel Orot Elyonim. Now we're missing the three higher light, which is Yechida, Chaya, and Neshama. Remember, those names I mentioned are the milui, are the fulfillment of the desire that called the vessel. We call that time that you don't have a full capacity, a full coma, a full uh, uh, system being activated. If it's not full, we call it katnut, from the word katan. It's short, it's katan. What is that loot then? Yoredet Malchut mimakom bina, dainu mena parsalim koma. When Malchut that went up to bina, going back to where it belonged, lemata, azolim gibel kin, akelim bina, tifre Malchut mitchabrim. Lemadrega. So then, those vessel bina, the rabbin Malchut been activated, and they can draw the light that belong. So now, how many lights you have inside? Five. How many vessel? Five. So it's a perfect koma. It's a perfect size of how it meant to be. And all this is a hint within the letter Aleph. What is in the letter Aleph? If you look the way you write the Aleph, you have Yud, then you have Vav, then you have Yud, or a different way you can write it with Dalet. So the Yud on the top is Keter Vechokma is when Malchut went up and created this uh, curtain. So, it's Keter Vahuma. Shenisharu ba madriga. Mizman ha-Katnud. This is called Katnud. Akaf shetachat ha-Yud ha-Lyona rumeze la Parsa. This line is called the Parsa, meaning the horseshoe. When we say the horseshoe, we don't talk about horseshoe. We, we're talking about the concept of this is, is not allowing that connection to happen because Malchut went up to Bina and create a new ending. Tzimtzum bet. We call this time Katnut. When Malchut going back to where it belongs, that's when the Yud, Yud, Vav and Yud, so the Yud below the, that line, triangle line, that actually when Malchut is going back to its place. The office of Yudah Elyonah is to the Ketochma and the Ketochma is to Bina and Tiferet and Malchut. So we can look at the letter Aleph in different way. One way, the upper Yud 
of the Aleph, okay, relate to Keter Chuchma. Yud Tachtona, Binat Tifret Malchut. The lower Yud, Binat Tifret Malchut. The Akav Shebenem Rumez Al Aparsa. That line is what Malchut did. When Malchut went up to Bina, it created a blockage. Now we cannot receive those lines that belong to us. There is a new ending. Umevaer kana tikunim. תיקוני הזוהר אקספלנט הוא אסיר, שאותן גימל פקנות ומרומזות בסוד א', ישנם גם באות י'. The same thing that exists within the letter א', exists within the small letter י'. How come? שיהיה השורש לאות א', because if you look at א', what is the שורש? what is the roots of א', י'. אמנם גימל פקנות שבאות י', אינם דומות לגמרי לגימל פקנות של א'. The only point, whatever we talk about before about the letter U, that was divided to the head, the body, and the end, is not similar to what happened in the letter Aleph. Ki gimel p'chidot shal Aleph en kulan madriga achat. Because when we talk about Aleph, it's one level. Aval gimel p'chidot shal Yud en sot gimel madrigot miyuchadot. But when we talk about Yud, how it's been divided to the head, the body, and the end, are three different systems, three different levels. הנקראות, that level has a name. אבא ואימא, father and mother, אילאין, the upper father and mother, then second level, ישראל סבא ותבונה, it's a name, ישראל סבא is the lower part of חוכמה, and תבונה, lower part of בינה. א', ישראל סבא ותבונה, אבא ואימא אילאין, הוא סוד רשע דלה לאלה ברזה דטעמים. כנראה שטעמים הם... אבא ואימא אילאין. ישראל סבא ותבונה, א', הם סוד גיב דלם בצוותה ברזה דעת וון. זאת תיקון הפרצה נשארת תמיד בוו צוות בלי גר. אפילו בזמן הגלות שבינם תבואו בבת חברים למדרגה, שרת הגר במדרגה, או לטרנסלט דה סקנד, היא שומרת על הערת חומה שלא תפסידו למטה, ממעלה למטה, כמו שהיה בזמן שבירת אקלים. לכן, הוא גופה לתרווהו לטעמים ולנקודות שתחתיה. וכוצאת הילה לדעתי ברזה נקודה, אני רוצה לעשות בתבונה שבו מתגלה ג' הראשונות, וממנו מושפעת הערת חוכמה אל התחתונים. So, רב רנדיין סמרייז היר, and I want to make sure I'm not confusing you, as I get a bit confused about that, because he said, first, ישראל סבו תבונה, and second, there is two of them. So he'd say like that. ג' בחינות של י', and ג' לסוד בדוגות מיוחדות הנקראות, what is that level? Father and mother Elaine, Israel Sabu Dvuna Aleph, first Israel Sabu Dvuna, second Israel Sabu Dvuna. Those are the three uh, level. And don't be nervous by the names, it's just name of how it's divided. Abba Vima Elaine, father and mother, supreme uh, father and mother, connect to the Ta'amim, connect to that. Uh, code in the Torah how to read the words of the Torah with melody. Because we know the Ta'amim, consider Supreme Father and Mother. Israel Sabu Dvuna Aleph, the first Israel Sabu Dvuna, who sought give the love of Tzadav Razad Advon. It means the body of the letter. Why do we call it the body of the letter? Because that's related to Vav Tzavot, related to six ending, related to um, the vessel with no head, because the head is going to the uh, Abba Vima Ilaim, going to father and mother, supreme father and mother. And now we stay with six ending, or six sefirot, without gar, without the upper three sefirot. Vafilu bizman agadlut, shebina v'tifret balachun mitchabrim al madaga, shna arat gar, even when everything going back to normal, and we now receiving the upper three uh, spherot light, still there is a, a force that not allowed the light of wisdom to go all the way down. Because the light of wisdom, rem remind you, light of wisdom without light of mercy create problem. It create darkness. Because light of wisdom without light of mercy, darkness. Light of mercy without light of wisdom, too weak. So what do we need to do? Shituf. Connect. The body of the youth is preventing the light to go down like it used to be in the beginning. So similar to what happened in Shvirat Akelim, what happened when the vessel broke, to remind you the vessel broke, we're talking about the eight kings, 
that basically it was they couldn't capably get the light yashar or yashar and that's why those vessels fell to the clipot they cannot receive light one melech that has a wife Adar uh, his wife Mitabel ben Meizav she stay in that I'm not going to go into that those details right now for that reason, that body of the youth is becoming a vessel for the, the vowels and for the melody of how to read the thing. Again, I'm not talking about the melody physically or the vowel physically. Those things are representing something. Now, the bottom of the yud is the second Israel Saba Udvuna. That within the bottom of the yud is revealed those three sfirot. And that bottom of the yud now is capable to draw the light of wisdom. Similar, if you wish, to the four phases. You know, that first Chokhmah, uh, Bina, Zerampin, and then no light, and then Malchut wanted from the beginning. So, that's for the yud compared to the Aleph. I'm continuing. The the Aleph, if we look at the Aleph, we have Yud above and Yud below. Now remember, the Yud itself can be also divided to the, the, that system. So the Yud below, the Yud below the line of the Aleph, the triangle, is called Mayim Nekevot. Female water. What is a female water? It's almost like rain is a male water coming from above to below. Female water is like spring water, some water going from below to above. But of course, we talk about spiritual consciousness here. We're not talking about physical thing at all. We talk about it, ashpaot, light that comes from above, and ashpaot that coming from below. Mind nekevot. So the little yud below the triangle line is mind nekevot, female water. The upper yud of above the line of the Aleph represents male water. The middle, the, 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 the line itself, the curtain itself, the, that line in the Aleph, Urakia, this is the feminine, the, the, the Rakia, Rakia is almost like the verb in Hebrew, Lirkoa Bapahim, you know, in the locksmith, you know, they used to take the hammer and work on the copper. That, that work to work with the copper called Lirkoa, with Ayn, Lirkoa. So Rakia, which is another name for sky or firmament, am I saying it correctly? Firmament. Ke'enze, so that line is the firmament, is the sky, is the heaven. Ba'emta ke'enze alef alea ala prasa. שבתוך א' נאמר ואי מבדיל בין מים למים. For that reason, and בראשית, it say, it will be separate from water to water. If you remember in Genesis, that God created the world, he said, we have to separate water from water. What water? Ah, we don't talk about physical water, we talk about מים זכרים, מים נקבות. Water, that is the first yud above the Aleph, which is that yud represent מים זכרים, meaning Ashpaot, light that comes from above to below, and Maim Nekevot, female water, Maim Ashpaot of mind that comes from below to above. I hope you're excited. I mean, this is at least something that you're familiar with. And I'm going to continue, of course. Yudzain, it says something so powerful. Vayi machloket shi leshem shamayim, di sofa litkayem, ulela shlam vi yichudam travau. Of course, there is a section in the Talmud. And they ask, are you allowed to have an argument? Are you allowed to have an argument? And they say, if it's machloket, if it's machloket, the argument for the sake of heaven, it will, it's something good, and it will so far it came. It will bring a lot of good things after. It will be a lot of good result from that. And machloket, argument, which is not leshem shamayim, which is not for the sake of bringing good, and they compare Ilel v'shamay is for the sake of sharing. Korach, when Korach and Adato was fighting with Moshe, was not for the sake of creating something new, it's for the sake of themselves. So that doesn't bring food. So how is that connected to what we study? Let's see. Tikkun HaZohar. V'zohi machloket, klomar ha-machloket, anesel al-dei tikkun ha-parsa, 
when you have the parsa, when you have the line of the Aleph, separate between the upper yud to the lower yud, mavdila ben maim lamaim, ila shem shamaim. That separate for upper water from the lower water is for heaven. Why? Liyached et abalchuta nikret shem. Shem. Bezeh nakir, bezeh ranpin, nikra shamaim. Ma ze machloket le shem shamaim? What is saying? Nobody even asked those questions. Le shem shamaim. For the name of heaven. Shem. Shem is Malchut. The name means Malchut. Shamaim means Zeher and Pin. Shem Shamaim is to connect Zeher and Pin and Malchut together. It's a tremendous secret. She is so far it So if it's for the sake of putting Zeher and Pin and Malchut together, it will eventually will last forever. Pirush. Kikava Imtai Amachet Amachloka Shalemala Umekayam Etarat Shdem. That Kava Imtai, that line between the upper yud and lower yud, is bring peace. Ben ha'arat ha'yemin sh'usot ba'yem al-yonin, ben ha'arat small sh'usot ba'yem t'chonim. He bring the upper water and the lower water to become one. U'bechabram ze ba'ze, and connect both of them. U'melbisham ze ba'ze, dress one with another. Al-edez ze sh'mavdil ha'aratam. It seems like we separate two forces. It feels like it's a separation. No, Sarah Brandbein. The opposite say Tikkun HaZohar. It's actually, we create an all new system like that. Shasmol mihir memata lemala. Now the left column that used to light from above to below, it shine from below to above. Vayamin memala lemata. And the right shine from above to below. Obeder ze bitkamim shtem beshalom beachdut. Through that you create unity between both of them. Vekol zman shamalchut ena bekav emtsai. שהוא זהר על פינה נקרא שמיים, אלא מקבל את חוכמה משמאל דבינה, בלי המיתוק של קו צי, אז ניתן לך כוח לקליפות. Why there is chaos in the world? Why there is קליפות? Why there is war? Why there is a problem? Where is it all come from? So that's the answer, right here. When מלכות, the receiving force, doesn't have that center column, doesn't have that balance, doesn't have that curtain, doesn't have that line on the aleph. And through that, Malchut start receiving light of wisdom from the left column of Bina, like it used to be in the beginning of creation, without sweetening with the center column. Then the klipot receive power. And they allow then to prevent Malchut from receiving all the sweetness and the light that Malchut is supposed to receive. Exactly what happened in Jerusalem right now. Because Jerusalem in physical place that represents the Malchut. And what happened now? The clipot control Jerusalem. You cannot enter, you cannot actually capture that energy. It's very sad. I mean, there is memory, the kotel, the beautiful physical thing, but it's all, all that domain is controlled by the clipot. Listomora saviv, saviv shelo yagia la tachtonim. And because Jerusalem of above and Jerusalem of below blocked by the clipot, we cannot receive the amount of light that we meant to be receiving. עד שהיא מתעקנת לקבל כל אורותיה מזר אנפין. until מלכות fix itself to receive all the light from זר אנפין. how do you fix yourself? how do you fix מלכות? we are all children of מלכות. so when we control our own personal מלכות, which is our own personal gain, our own personal agenda, and we try to push it away, because it's easy to do good thing. much more easy to do good thing than to prevent myself from doing the wrong thing. don't you agree? אז היא נפתחת מן ההסגר ומהירה לתחתונים. When we work on ourselves, when we do the study of Torah, the mitzvot, גמילות חסדים, doing good for others, charity, then we are helping מלכות to receive the light, וזוהי המחלוקת של קו אמצעי לייחד שם שם. So when it says לשם שמיים, for the name of heaven, <coughs> or לשמה, those of you familiar from the Talmud, to study Torah, לשמה, again, שם, the word שם, is for the מלכות itself, שהוא מלכות בסוד ברוך שם. Where do we find מלכות again? When you say, in שמע ישראל, you say ברוך שם, כבוד, כן? What we say ברוך שם, what is it, שם? בשמיים, שהוא זהר אנפין. Where is that שם? In שמיים, which is זהר אנפין. So what we learn from that, it's tremendously mood, that our job is to fix the מלכות, our job is to make sure מלכות can receive. I want to pass on to a different Zohar. How much time do I have? I did. Huh? I'm sorry, it's a little bit long, promise only 15 to 20, but it's a little important, important. It says, the Batok Vash is explaining something which is, I want to bring it to you, 
because I couldn't find it there, so I thought it can add to you. And because these lectures are all about Tikkun Azor, so it's the same pasuk but with a different angle. Resha de la Lela. Ainu nekudat amalchut shab achore adat. What malchut we talking about? Achore adat in the back of that. A little complicated, guys. Iber azad the tame. Shatamim and beketer. We know the tamim, those symbols of melody of how to do the melody for the Torah is a keter. We call that the upper keter. We give the Rabbi of Tzata, the Kudata Bachura Tiferet. Where is that keter? Is the back of Tiferet. Iberazad Advan. Within the, the secret of the letter, I do so that you have to say 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 vessel for the tamim, for the melody, or it becomes a vessel for, for the nekudot, for the vowel. Yeah. He just add that when we talk about the upper water and the lower water, one water is or yashar in Genesis, one water is or yashar, one water is or chozer. And the rakia, the firmament, that curtain is just to separate between Maim and Maim. Now, what it says, Bachloket Lashem Shemaim, is, is Bachloket, is argument, that argument we talk about between Maim Duchim and Maim Nukvim, between the upper water to the lower water. Lavi Shalom. Here he mentioned what I mentioned about Korach Vadato. I'm happy because I didn't see it before. מחלוק את כורח ועדתו באהרון, שגם הוא פירוד בין החסד והגבורה. What is the problem with Korach was fighting with Aaron? Korach is a Levi, Levi is left column. Fighting with Aaron, Aaron is a coin, is a right column. Even he comes from the Levi. So they create separation between חסד וגבורה. אין המחלוקת די ולשם שמיים מביא לידי ייחוד. The whole מחלוקת, if it's argument for the sake of bringing unity, you should do it. Because the mind נוקבים, the low water want to go all the way to Keter, so to make a zivuk, to make it, to elevate it. Because one yud from the upper part of the Aleph, the lower yud from the lower part of the Aleph, want to unite. No coincidence, if you take yud, you take another yud, and you take that line, line is vav, vav is six, yud is 20. So it doesn't matter how you look at it, it's 26, right? It's, it's beautiful. The Yud, Yud, and Vav. Yud is 10, this is 10, together at 26. Some Kabbalists say if you cut that curtain in the middle, you can get Yud, Vav, and Yud, and Vav, which is the 16 T's above, 16 T's below, and you're chewing the judgment. Din. That's where the word Adonai comes from. Start with Aleph, split it to two, then Din. So when it say, that the light of the moon and the light of the sun will be equal, meaning that the sun and the moon, sun Zeranpin, moon is Balchud will be equal. And then we know that Balchud went all the way up. I hope what I had in the last five minutes didn't confuse you. Thank you.